Hey guys, today we're going to bring you the CCG56 by Stinger Attachments. We're excited to show you all the features of this product, how it's built, what it's built for, and some of the uses you're going to see while using this little guy. Now, this is going to be designed around the basics of what we call a clam grapple. You're going to notice I have it in the open position now here for the video so you can kind of see some of the inner components. Some of the key features I want to point out is the tines and the grapple tines are built entirely out of AR200 material. They're going to be quarter inch thick and they're going to save you a lot of weight but yet give you the strength you need. That's going to be the same material they use in dump truck boxes. Now just to give you guys an idea of what that stuff goes through, AR stands for abrasion resistance. For many years we built all of our attachments out of grade 50 and still do today for our skid steers. Had little to no problems with grade 50 material. But getting into this market, a lot of these tractors, the Deers, Kubotas, New Holland, Mahindra, all them compacts, you're going to know that you're very limited to your lifting capacity. Doing so, we got to keep everything as light as possible. We were able to accomplish this entire attachment with independent grappling and almost entirely closed back. The bolt-on plates, all that, we're weighing in right at around 360 pounds. Now comparing that to one of our skid steer attachments, for example, we're cutting that weight almost down to a third. So for testing of the attachment on the R&D side of things, we actually put this grapple on one of our wheel loaders we have at the shop, and we were rolling concrete blocks with the thing, trying to wreck the grapples. Now, I'm not saying they're indestructible by any means, but We've been putting this thing through the ultimate test, and we're going to show you guys that in other videos. We feel we're pretty limited to what we can do on a computer as far as design and telling us what's strong. We are able to get the full test by actually putting it in real world, everyday type of situations. You're going to notice a lot of gussets through this and a lot of tube. We've had a lot of success with using round tube, pipe-sized tubes on our skid steer attachments for many years that we integrated that into our design. You're gonna notice that we use a full wrap weld around every one of these AR tines, quarter inch thick, to the tubes. The grapple alone is gonna have three tubes tied into one massive one inch pin quarter inch wall bushing stock. Fully greasable. We also have a support tube on top. One other thing I want to point out is we did the clam grapple in an independent grapple design. The reason we did that folks is so that if you're going to be pushing down trees, anything, you can actually avoid using your grapple and actually push right down on these tines in the center. You're gonna know we have a nice spike to our cutting edge. Through our testing, we were able to find that that helps get you a nice bite and help push down the tree. Also helps protect them grapples. Also with the grapples being independent, as you can imagine, over that entire width, you're able to secure the load with uneven objects. We use very nice greasable hydraulic cylinders on this unit. One other thing that's neat is the way we protect our hoses and protect the tractor. We have an almost completely enclosed back and we run the hoses all the way from there, all the way down back around that plate Tie them in the tensioner and up to the hydraulics. Easily replaceable if you do break a hose. That's a 3 16 inch plate on the back side with slot cutouts. We didn't want to cut visibility 
down to where you can't see much, but yet we wanted to protect the tractor as much as we can. We feel we were able to accomplish that. Like I say, I won't go into too much depth here of the attachment, but stay tuned here for more videos of using this in everyday use. This is gonna be a great fit for compact tractor attachments. One thing I forgot to mention is we were able to almost accomplish an entire 36 inch opening on this grapple. For the design, the height, depth of the grapple and the weight, we were very excited to accomplish that 36 inch opening. Not quite 36, but almost 36 inch opening. Now when you're cutting delimbing and dealing more with the lighter brush, you're gonna know you're gonna notice that having that larger opening is quite nice for hauling material around. The bucket's only gonna be able to do what the tractor that you're putting on has for lift capacity. Now these are designed for a lot of the smaller down to 25 to 30 horsepower and up. Now we're rating these for up around 40 horsepower machines. And we can cover all the basics with the same attachment. Having that bolt on plate allows versatility of maybe you own a John Deere and you're gonna switch to another brand with the uh, skid steer mounting plate. You don't have to buy an entire new attachment. You literally just buy the uh, plate from us and bolt it on and you're ready to go. Like I say, I'm trying to keep this video short. Obviously, I'm not succeeding on doing so. I just don't want to miss anything. We're very excited to introduce this to the market, depending on when you're watching this video. It may or may have not been out on the market for quite some time. But ultimately, this is just showing you the features and options. We also are going to have a lot of videos of showing the uses of it. Be sure to check them out on our website. Follow us on Facebook. Again, this is the CCG 56 for compacts by Stinger Attachments.